What's up y'all, JSB the Creator, and I am back again with a new video today for y'all. And for today's video, I'm gonna be turning these New Balance OMN1s. What a mouthful. Oh, that was crazy. <laughs> hey, no, pause. Hey, yo, you're crazy. <laughs> yeah. Into these, DeJounte Murray, San Antonio Spurs, PE colorway, the Fiesta jerseys. One thing I can appreciate on the OMN ones is this little G-string lockdown strap thing right here. It's real elastic, keeps your foot locked down so that you don't fly out of these bad boys when you're hooping, all right? They do also have this very interesting lacing system that I've never seen before, but we're going to tackle this shoe, get to it, get it nice and San Antonio Fiesta-ish, all right? It's a party. First up, if you've been watching my videos, you know all the time we stop with that prep work, prep everything, acetone everything, acetone everything until everything is acetone, all right? If you see a spot that's going to get painted, acetone it. And if you see it, acetone it again. Right now, I'm going to be hitting that tongue with that GAC mixture in the colorway. I got tired of doing it, so I let my lovely, beautiful assistant handle the rest. Isn't that right, babe? Never forget the heat dry painting fabric with fabric medium paint, all right? Next up, we about to tape these bad boys up and start working on that gradient. I almost forgot, gotta hit this little piece white. And now, I paint that gradient. So first off, I'm gonna start off with that yellow. As you could remember from the beginning, the shoe is a yellow and pink with a teal color. All right, so I'm gonna start off with the front with that yellow color. Then I'm gonna slowly work my way up into all the areas that where I think that the yellow should stop. And then I think that the pink should begin. All right, so basically just trying to get that yellow nice and saturated. Heat drying in between coats, obviously, because you want the best results. Next, I'm gonna start adding in that pink to start working my way up to that yellow to make that perfect little gradient mixture where they both meet each other and they get married in between, well, you know, get that perfect gradient, all right? Always heat dry because I am painting fabric. This isn't just leather. This is this is an actual fabric. It's similar to like a, like a mesh or something like that. I don't know what their technical term is, what New Balance uses, but you know, all brands use this kind of knit material. All right, so peeling the tape off, you know, tape jobs are hit or miss. Sometimes you might get a little leakage, but other than that, you just clean up any little spots. It's not that hard, all right? Right now, I'm just adding in all the little black detailing that needs to be necessary on the shoes, like the midsole, the outline around the end, and some of that teal on the lace loops. Low key, this is probably my least favorite part of the shoe because it took the longest to do, but these are the results. What do y'all think? Is this the Fiesta colorway? This is what it was supposed to look like, right? And this is how I executed it. What do y'all think? I think if I dropped these off in front of the Jonte Murray's house while he was still playing for the Spurs, that he would actually believe that this was the PE that New Balance had sent him. That's how much I trust the process, all right? But yeah, if y'all enjoyed today's video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and check me out till next time, all right? Peace. I'm out of here. What's up, New Balance? Sign me.